Ryan Reynolds is back as the Merc with a Mouth in Deadpool 2. Let's just cut to the chase and get to my spoiler-free review. Ryan Reynolds reprises his role as Wade Wilson or his alter ego Deadpool. In this one, he's more of a team player. He's bringing together a large cast of people and not just in the form of the X-Force. There are a few laugh out loud moments in this and a lot of them came from some unexpected things that caught me just completely off guard and that's what made me laugh out loud. But really, it's kind of more of the same from the first film, except it feels forced. A lot of the jokes fall flat they just feel like they were shoved in there and trying to make us laugh, and as a result, we don't. I didn't feel it was nearly as funny as its predecessor. I thought the original Deadpool was very witty, original, and hilarious. There are some good X-Men jokes in there, but I think most of them were put in the trailer, so we've seen a lot of the jokes that they put into the movie already. Mm. I wish they would have saved more back for the film. Josh Brolin was good as Cable. He's a time-traveling baddie with some really cool tech. He has this weirdly mechanical arm and this cyborg eye. I just wish they would have spent a little bit more time developing who he was as a character because I don't know why he's half kind of cyborg and why he's magnetic, I guess, or at least with his tech and his weapons. They just can come flying back or out of someplace and attach to him, which is a really handy skill to have if somebody else has taken your weapon or if you've dropped it, you can just and it comes right back to you. I wish I had that for my keys or my phone. Some of the other characters were fun, especially Domino. She had the right mix of attitude, confidence, and humor. The kid that played Russell, or Fire Fist, is a self-declared plus-sized mutant, and he was standout as well, because he's this brooding teenager who has a, just this grudge and this chip on his shoulder, and so it causes some conflict, and part of the story revolves around him and his pursuit. Hopefully we'll get to see more characters like him in the upcoming films. They've already announced Deadpool 3 and X-Force, so here's hoping. Well, we did get a lot more of scenes with Colossus, so that was a lot of fun to see him, and he, he and Wade interact and kind of butt heads a lot, just because you have one who holds these ideals, as Colossus does, of we don't kill people, we are right, we do all of these things, and then you have Deadpool, who's just like, screw the rules, we're going. And so they butt heads a little bit, and that's fun to watch. The action was well done with a lot of great fight scenes. The choreography was on point and looked really realistic, even for a superhero movie. As I said, I felt some of the jokes just fell flat and felt forced. And that's unfortunate because the original was so well written. It was just the standout performance, especially with the fourth wall breaking. I mean, Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool really brought us into the film in the first one. This one, he still does that some, but we're kind of more spectators at this point and it's, and eh, we're along for the ride. The use of the breaking of the fourth wall in this, while not as constant, was just kind of tired. It's not to say that Ryan Reynolds didn't do a good job in his performance as Deadpool. I think his acting was solid, it was just the writing that let him down. Some scenes were drawn out to be absurd or ridiculous in the hopes that it would lead to humor. Unfortunately, they just kind of got annoying and they weren't funny at all. There was a scene that was written pretty much for a raunchy sight gag, and it just ended flat. It wasn't very funny, and I think that they could have done a better job in moving that plot point forward and have it more entertaining. To quote Deadpool, lazy writing. I didn't really feel drawn into the overall story arc or even feel very invested in the film. Overall, I felt Deadpool 2 was a weaker film than the first. It just didn't deliver in the way that I had hoped it would or that I expected, especially coming off such a strong first movie. As my oldest son said, they captured lightning in a bottle with the first film, and it's really hard to replicate that in the sequel. Now, as I said, they've already announced Deadpool 3 and X-Force, and I'm really excited to see what they do in the X-Force. On a side note, while there were some laugh out loud scenes, the end credits were by far the funniest. I almost snorted when I laughed during those. So make sure that you stick around through the end credits because it's worth it. Now, there is a ton of profanity and violence in this. There is a lot of crude and sexual language and some brief CGI nudity. So you need to be aware going in. Now, as of this filming, the movie is unrated, but I'm pretty sure it's just gonna have a firm R rating. I give Deadpool 2 three out of five couches. 
And I know a lot of people are gonna see it in the theater and it's gonna make a ton of money. I'm just not sure it's worth the full price. So what's your favorite superhero movie? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button. Also subscribe. I'm Chris, this is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me. <laughs>